when I saw Tim Noakes ripping out the whole chapter from The Lure of Running, I was both amazed and thrilled. In Serial Killers, I used a Whole Foods high-fat diet to hack my genes in a quest for better health. Oh. This time, we're moving into the world of elite athletic performance. This is Serial Killers 2, and we're running fat. When I was training for the Olympics in 1996, diet was all about calories and carbohydrates. In my day, the magic ingredient was you had to do the carbohydrate loading diet and then you also had to try and do 100 miles a week. We now understand the limitations of low-fat, fat-free diets, that they're not necessarily healthy at all. In fact, I became pre-diabetic myself. Sami Inkinen is a World Ironman champion. He's fueled by whole foods. He's a fat-adapted athlete. The switch in my diet, first away from sugar, then away from processed carbohydrates to much more whole foods and quite high-fat diet have really helped me perform well in the long-distance events. My peers think that I'm a heretic. They can't understand why I would persist in uh, standing by data that is so contrary to what everybody wants to believe. He's been right for 30 years. They were the real pioneers and they just had to take it on the chin. These isotonic sports drinks have been outed as nothing more than sugared water. The rates of childhood obesity, for instance, are, are horrendous. Personally, I'd like to see a warning on sports drinks, on sodas, on Coca-Cola, and on various things like that. They have got it! Right spot, right time, right man, Andy Moran! In the races, now I drink water. Water is the perfect sports drink. That's all you need. We're going to row across the Pacific Ocean 2,400 miles unsupported from California to Hawaii. And we're doing it to raise awareness about the dangers of sugar and processed carbohydrates. I'm not aware of anyone who's done that kind of prolonged event, 45 to 60 days of continuous physical activity on a low-carb diet. We put Sami through a number of our assessment tests and he performed incredibly well, not only for an endurance athlete, but for some of our more seasoned athletes right out of the gate. The athletes aren't waiting around. They're going to find their own answers, and, and so are the general public. Yeah, the science is coming. Every week there are, uh, there are new scientific articles out there. But the horse is bolted as far as the athletes are concerned. Many of the leaders in the pack, and even people setting records, are low-carb runners. The performance food of the future is real food. <laughs> <laughs>